With many updates since my last video, I'd like to explain some of the changes to Skin Composer version 8. Most noticeably is the updated interface. Everything functions virtually in the same manner. Mandatory fields are highlighted in black. Now you'll notice some extra buttons along the top here. This facilitates the custom class feature. In many cases, you'll want to extend the functionality of Scene2D UI. Instead of defining the styles for your custom widgets and code, you can add them in Skin Composer and export them with your Skin JSON. Press the plus button next to the class select box. Enter the fully qualified name of the class that you're going to include in your skin. That is, the full package and class name, and add a dollar symbol for nested classes. For your convenience, you can set a display name to change what it's listed as in Skin Composer. Next, click the plus button in the Style Properties panel to create a new property. Enter the name of the property as defined in your class and choose what type of property it is. If it's a number, boolean, font, drawable, or color, use the corresponding type. For all other uses, including references to class styles, use the text type. Repeat with each property you wish to include with the skin. Now that you've laid out the framework, you can fill the fields with values and create different styles as you see fit. Unfortunately, there is no preview for custom classes. If you need to rename, copy, or delete a property, click the appropriate button. The import function can also import skins with custom defined classes as well. Start a new project and go to File, Import, and select the JSON file you want to import. You'll have to manually change the property's types if you want to take advantage of the associated dialogs. As before, import works best with skin files generated by Skin Composer. Other new features since the last video include being able to rename styles and other elements. Just click the cog button to rename the element. Tinted drawables can now be linked to colors defined in the colors dialog. Click the swatches icon next to a drawable and select a color. You can also change the values of an existing color by clicking the color wheel next to the color. With these features combined, you can make dramatic changes across an entire skin with only a few selections. Previously, you only had a few options exposed when you wanted to modify the texture atlas exported by Skin Composer. Now you can modify a defaults file to affect all future exports. Click Project Settings. Click Open Texture Packer Settings File. Another feature is the option to keep resources relative to the save file. Using this option makes the project portable and easier to share by making local copies of selected resources. Click Project, Settings, Keep Resources Relative. After you save the file, a data folder is created next to the project file. Share both with your colleagues if they want to work on the same file without getting path errors. Thanks for checking out Skin Composer. Please let me know if you need any help.